a little over two months ago, I decided to bring a Google Pixel <gasps> 8a into my household. And ever since, it has been a dream come true. Not necessarily. I do like this phone a lot. However, I did realize that it is high time that I finally release a customization video for the Google Pixel 8a. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. internet how are you doing my name is brian if you are new here and today we are going to be finally customizing my google pixel 8a i absolutely love doing these customization videos i primarily do them for my iphone however now that i have an android phone in the house i am very excited to do customization videos for this android today we're going to be transforming this google pixel 8a from boring to extravagant and exciting i am super excited to do this today i have a bunch of cool customization tips and tricks i'm going to show you guys how to do some of them are going to be applications downloaded from the google play store However, everything I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be completely free. There are going to be three different ways we're going to customize this phone today. We're going to be starting off with launchers, then we're going to go on to widget applications, and finally we're going to be designing app icons. Let's get started and start off with launchers. Well, what exactly is a launcher on Android? A launcher is basically just a way you completely transform your Android phone with just a single application. So you can download a launcher from the Google Play Store. It's going to completely transform the way your home and lock screen and even your app icons, how they work. It's very simple and very easy to do. So we are actually going to be looking at three different launchers today. All these launchers are free and available from the Google Play Store. I found three completely different launchers from each other and I feel like they're all very unique. So we're going to get into it. We're first going to start out with Nova Launcher. So right Right here on my Android home screen, I have the Nova Launcher application. So we're going to go right into it and start customizing with Nova Launcher. So this is going to be the Nova Launcher. So I'm going to tap Nova Launcher right here and we're going to go right into it. We're going to get started here. And what we can do is we can immediately customize the icon style. You can choose an icon style. So I think I'm going to choose icons to be, let's say about a hundred percent. We can either do a default squircle, rounded or a flower. I think we're going to do a rounded square because that just looks the best to me in my opinion. Then we're going to go hit next. Then we can do do things called immersive mode, which I don't know exactly what that means. You can do immersive or you can do windowed. Then app drawer style, there can either be vertical, list, or horizontal. I think we're going to do it as a list. Really show the keyboard when the app drawer is open so we can actually type that there. So no. Oh. Oh, okay, not so fast. All right, attitude. To automatically show the keyboard when the door is open, immersive search must be enabled. Okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. Don't tell me not so fast. That pisses me off. See, Android's already starting to piss me off already. Media controls, you can show media controls when it's playing. What more? I guess I have to hit back. Okay. Bro, what the f? I have to relaunch. <laughs> Setup is finished. Now we can go home, and this is how Nova Launcher is going to look when we go home. Okay, I don't think Nova Launcher did anything. Here's Nova Launcher and it looks hideous. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This looks absolutely horrendous. I've never seen something uglier in my life. So I have to hit the button to go into Nova Launcher. And I guess I have one of those settings to change it. Oh, you have to set it as default. Okay. So you have to set as your default home application in order to make sure it always goes to Nova Launcher. Some people may like this. Me personally, I hate this. This looks absolutely awful. So we're gonna move on to the next one, but I just wanna show you guys Nova Launcher because it is a different launcher you can do. I think there are some different widgets you can add to Nova Launcher too. So we're going to hit here and we're gonna see what type of widgets we have. So we have Nova Action, Activity, Folders, and that and whatever, but that's pretty much it. That's the only ones you get with Nova Launcher. But we have two more launchers we can explore today. But I just to show you Nova Launcher, but this is very ugly and I hate it, so we're not doing it. Nope. Okay, well, I'm glad we have that out of our system because that was disturbing and I hated that so much. So we're gonna move on to the next launcher. So now I'm going to move on to Smart Launcher. Smart Launcher is gonna be the next one we're going to do. This one's also pretty interesting, so we're gonna activate Smart Launcher right here. Welcome home, set as default. And here's Smart Launcher. It's better. You can do app sorting. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. So we can have app sorting. So we can have contacts, internet, games, media, utilities, and settings. We have a feed you can do as well. You can add a new source. That's pretty cool. You can add a new source to our feed. So here is our home screen. We have icon pack, studio, smart widgets, and stuff like that. So we're going to see what type of widgets we can add. So let's do a widget. Wow, these are actually pretty cool. So, oh cool. Some of them are pro, which sucks, but we can do a battery one. So we can do landscape, portrait, square, landscape, portrait, square. We're 
gonna do this one. So we're gonna add this widget right up here. We can do an icon group, which is kind of cute. We can do a flower icon group, add icons. So I'm gonna add Apple Music, Discord, Gmail, I'm gonna add Instagram, and Notion. That's gonna be my icon group. And look at that, that is really cute. You can add a little icon group right there. Okay, I like that, that's kind of cute. So then we can kind of customize this home screen a little bit. I will definitely say that this is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. I love the way that all my apps are kind of grouped together on here as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, but you can do smart search, which we can search for everything in my phone or whatever. We're gonna see the other customization we can do with this as well. We can do, oops, global appearance. What is that supposed to mean? So we can edit our theme. Plain background or surface strokes, whatever. I keep it like this color right here. Okay, so we can kind of customize our page backgrounds and how the page looks look and how surfaces look. You make this surface like a white color right here. Items on the surface, we can keep that. And accent colors, we can make it nice lighter green. So you can really customize the way the pages look, which is pretty cool. Icon appearances, so we can customize the icon appearance. So we can do this shape or we can do this shape or this shape. I like this shape a lot, actually. It's pretty cool. It can be adaptive as well. And they can be double tap icons, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And now we can customize our font, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna change the font. Okay, there you go, that's kind of cute. So we're gonna change the font to this. The body font, we can change it. There we go, okay. So we change the font. Grid priorities, properties. So we can do standard, you can do dense or dense plus. We're gonna do standard. Now we can do icon sizes. We can make it really small or big. And they can do blur effect, fade out. Oh my God, look at that. So then it changed my font. So my font looks like that. That's pretty cute. I actually like that a lot. Okay, okay, we're getting some customization here. Let's change our background. Let's see what type of wallpapers I have. I actually have some pretty cute wallpapers. Let's do that. Ooh, I like that. That's icy. Ooh, yes. We're gonna apply this one. Confirm. Okay, and then we can change, of course, how this looks. That is so cute. I love how this looks. I like this launcher a lot. Definitely this launcher right here. So I definitely like Smart Launcher. I think Smart Launcher is probably my favorite so far because it does allow you to have lots of cute customization with your phone. My home screen does look pretty cute and I cannot complain about this. This looks really cute and really fun. Smart Launcher is pretty cool, so I definitely would recommend this to anyone. Now it's time to explore the final launcher we're gonna look at and it's going to be Microsoft Launcher. So, so here is the Microsoft Launcher. The icon is right there. So now let's explore the Microsoft Launcher. So we're gonna tap Microsoft Launcher. Here it is, get started. I don't have an account, so we're gonna skip that account. So I don't want to use a Microsoft account. <laughs> no, thank you. You're all set. Let's go. So let's set as default. And okay, wow, this is very interesting. This is how the Microsoft Launcher looks. It's quite interesting looking. So you have everything right here. It's very, very Windowsy, I would say, which is interesting. So you can actually download all these applications right here. And there it is. So this is. It feels Windowsy, but it doesn't really feel that Windowsy. So we're gonna see if we can change our wallpapers. So we're gonna go into the wallpapers. Oh, so you can tap an icon and it will change your wallpaper or something random. That is so cool. Obviously, we can do Microsoft Calendar, your to-do list, sticky you notes, know, whatever. I would say this is the perfect launcher for people who have an Android phone and also have a Windows computer. So you can have everything synced up with each other. Kind of have like a similar user experience on your phone versus also on your Windows desktop. So that's pretty cool. So again, you can customize this and change the wallpaper and everything. We're going to our launcher settings and see if we can do something different. You can do light or dark modes. You can change the layout of everything, how icons look. I Kind of appearance so we can change them to system or we can do microsoft launcher so this is how the cons look when you apply that to the microsoft launcher so that's how those look so i definitely would say that i still like a uh, smart launcher a little bit better than this it really isn't that bad okay those app icons are hideous i'm so sorry but those are the most hideous app icons i've ever seen in my life like please microsoft fix what you're doing because these app icons these are just Awful. How much is Microsoft Launcher for you guys? I find this, I think this is pretty cool, especially the fact that you can change your wallpaper to literally any wallpaper you want randomly. That, that's just awesome that you can do that with one button. You can change your wallpaper to anything you want. And the fact that you have all your Microsoft stuff right on your Android phone is pretty clutch. So now let's move on to the next portion of this video. This next portion of the video, we're going to talk all about widget apps. So we're So now it's time to talk all about widget applications for your Google Pixel. There's lots of cool widget apps you can download for this phone off of the Google Play Store. So there are four different applications we're going to be looking at today. The first one we're going to be looking at is called Color Widgets. If you watch any of my iPhone customization videos in the past, Color Widgets is an application that I actually do use on my iPhone, but it also has an Android counterpart. So I definitely wanted to show you guys how you can use that on your Android phone. Here's the Color Widgets app right there. So we are going to launch it right now. So let's launch Color Widgets. So it's actually called iWidgets, which is interesting. I guess it's kind of a different app. It's a little bit different ad that you have to watch first. So we're gonna let this ad go through. So Color Widgets is very, very different from the iPhone counterpart. I don't know if it's from the same company. I don't know if this is a little bit 
different. But this is very, very interesting. So there has a bunch of different things you can add to your Android phone. But we're gonna go right into the widgets because I wanna explore some of these widgets. So there's a pretty bunch of cute ones. I think we wanna try to do this one, this music player widget. And we have to watch it add first. Anyways, we can add this widget directly to our home screen. We're gonna hit add widget. And we have to confirm that we wanna do it medium widgets. We can confirm. And there we go. So we added that widget to our home screen. Now we're gonna look at other widgets too. There's a bunch of different ones. You can do clock, you can do weather. I love these weather widgets so much. So I think we're gonna do this weather widget right here. Allow permission for a weather forecast. And we're gonna add that widget. We have to watch an ad first again. So I guess every time you wanna download a widget, you have to actually watch an ad. Pretty similar to every other application on iOS. I'm gonna add three different widgets to my home screen from this application. Then we're gonna move on to the next application. I like this clock. The clock is pretty cute. So we're gonna add this clock right here. And we have to watch it. Another ad. And we're gonna add these widgets to my home screen. So I'm gonna go right in here. It's right here. I'm gonna add my weather widget right there. And then I can also then add. So here is our second page right here. And then we have all our app icons right there, which that's pretty cool. So again, we can kind of customize this if we want to or whatever. I think I'm gonna leave this like this just for now, just so I have everything. So I think this is how I'm gonna leave it for now. We're gonna have this widget page and then we're gonna have this widget page. And then we're gonna move on and add other widgets from other applications. So let's move on to the next application. The next widget application we're gonna be looking at today is called iScreen. Again, this is an application that I use on my iPhone. And we're going to hope that this is exactly the same as it is on an iPhone that is on Android. Last time we tried color widgets, it wasn't the same and it really pissed me off. But anyways, let's do it. So here is the iScreen app icon right there. So we're gonna go into it and we're gonna hope this is exactly the same. So far, so good. And we have an ad block blast, cool. Why are you doing that? Go back. Bro, open. Okay, so this is exactly the same as on iOS, which is so good. So here is iScreen. You get a bunch of cool widgets you can add to your home screen, which I love iScreen so much. It's got such cute widgets on it, and it really just allows you to customize your phone and make it you and make it unique to you. Then we have wallpapers. We can add different wallpapers as well. We have themes. We can do theme packs on here, discover, and there's more things as well. So we're going to look for three different widgets we can add to our home screen. But let's add the calculator one. I absolutely love the calculator. You can add to your home screen on my iPhone, so I'm gonna add that to here. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna go off camera and add the next two widgets on here. So I'm gonna go do that right now. So after some time, I've decided on these three widgets for my home screen. So I have my calculator widget, I have a little pop-up widget, as well as this kind of X panel type of widget that tells you how much battery you have, the date and time, and also how much storage you have, which is pretty cool. So these are the three widgets that I chose from iScreen. Cool thing about it is that, of course, these widgets actually do work. Whoa. So as you can see, I can type things into the calculator and it will actually work, which is quite cool. Pop-up widget also works. And it does that, that sound, which is pretty cool. So that pretty much is iScreen on Android. You can choose all these widgets and add it to your home screen. Of course, later on in the video, I'm gonna kind of organize this a little bit better, but I just wanted to show you these three widgets because these are pretty cool. So now let's move on to the next app. Next application is Overdrop. What Overdrop is, is a really cool weather widget. Overdrop actually is a full on weather application on your Android phone. However, I use it mainly because I absolutely love how the widget looks on the device itself. This is how the application looks. It's pretty cool. It's basically just a really nice, aesthetically pleasing weather app. I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually access this widget. So we're gonna go and we are going to add a widget right here and then we're going to look for overdrop. So overdrop should be right here. And there's a bunch of different overdrop icons you can do. We're gonna do a two by two. And then here are all the widgets you can actually add to your home screen. So we're gonna do one that is pretty cute. You also get access to a nice little block widget too, which is cool. So there's other ones on here as well, which I just I think this is really cool how you have all these cool different widgets you can add. So I'm going to and I'm gonna do this weather widget right here, this one. I think this to be really cute. So there we go, here it is. And then of course we can customize it, make this bigger so it looks a little bit nicer right there. So yeah, so there is the weather widget right there and there's other ones I can add to as well. And let's just add this cute little clock icon. There you go, so there is a cute little clock icon on the bottom of my home screen. So that was Overdrop. So now we're actually gonna go on to another application that really isn't technically widgets, but it is an icon studio application which actually works with the smart launcher that I have on this phone. So let's do that. So this is Icon Pack. Now what Icon Pack is the way that you can actually create your own little app icons, which that's pretty cool and it works again with the Smart Launcher. So here it is, Icon Pack Studio. We're gonna hit continue and there we go. So we have different pro icons you can do as well. I actually like this one right here. So there's a bunch of different icons you can add to your home screen. Some of them are pro, some of them are free. And these actually all look like to be designed by different users, which that's pretty cool. So I think we can actually go in here and actually create some ourselves. So we can do an adaptive icon, a medical icon, or a text 
text icon, the active icon, and oh wow, this is really cool. So this is an application that actually allows you to create your own app icons on Android. This is super sick. I think this is pretty cool. We can move this icon to however we want it. This really actually allows you to really customize the way the app icon looks and how the design looks. You can change the size. We can make the size as big as we want to. You print it on. You can do different overlap, overwrite, whatever, print it on. I can do color adjustments so I can change the hues. I can really mess with how my app icon looks on my home screen. There's other ones you can do. You can do background as well. Shadow, inner shadow, radius, whatever we want to do with our icon, you have full access to it. You can actually really, really adjust how your icon looks. So this is pretty cool. Now I'm just messing around with this to see. Well, we can do things like an ambient light mode, different light angles on the icon, intensity. You do glow if you have the premium one, you do texture, glossy light. This is just pretty cool. So now I can hit preview. And this is how all my app icons are actually going to look on my phone if I were to do a preview. That is pretty cool. And you actually can also publish this. I believe if you hit the publish icon, you can actually allow other users to use your app icons, which that is just so freaking cool. This is how all my app icons would look. Now, obviously I didn't really try very hard with this, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can do this. I'm actually going to select some icons that someone else created and we're gonna add them to my home screen. So we're gonna do this one right here, which I find that to be pretty cute. So shadow effect and we hit download. It's gonna download them. And then I can literally just apply. So hit apply, back to my home screen and my app page. Okay, icon pack applied. Wow, that is super cool. So literally it takes you two steps to in order to actually change your app icons on here. You pick an icon pack and you hit download and then apply and then what bam you have all your app icons customized on your phone obviously as you can see literally my whole entire home screen completely changed and completely customized to this sick new view which is so cool i love how this looks that is absolutely gorgeous so that is icon studio there's a bunch of different ones you can search for you can search for different users you can search for different app icons this is so cool the fact that this is all done in your android phone you don't have to download different assets you don't have to download app icons you don't have to download all this you can do this all on the android it's just so freaking cool i love all these this is awesome like especially this one right here that is super sick i definitely would recommend you guys checking out this icon pack i'm obsessed i love this this is just super sick so there you have it All right guys, here is my final home screen setup for my Google Pixel 8a. I am absolutely obsessed with this. So here is my first home screen right here. We have the date and the weather right on top. Then we have the battery percentage right here on the side, as well as a little circle that is a bunch of different applications that I use on a daily basis. Then I have my iPod widget right down here, which I find that to be just super cute and adorable. And it really does match my theme very, very well. And then I have a bunch of different app icons right down there and I have smart search right there. If we swipe over to the next page, we then have a clock icon right on top, as well as the current weather status, and also as well as my calendar view right down there and then if we swipe again over one more time we have yet another widget page with my awesome huge calculator which is super cool for making calculations really quickly on the home screen then I have my little cluster of information widget right there then I have my little pop bubbles right there which is just super cute that I like to have there and I have my Google keep notes widget down right here I just want to have there for easy access to the notes application then when we swipe up right here we have all of my apps right there so yeah guys that is my officially customized Google Pixel 8a I used a combination of different widget applications as well as different launchers and other applications to really customize this Google Pixel 8a to my liking and I gotta say I am very very obsessed with this this looks absolutely awesome it honestly wasn't very complicated to do I just had to download a few different applications. All right, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys being here with me and being able to customize my Google Pixel 8a because this is a very fun video to do, very exciting, and a lot of cool ways to really customize this phone. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe and click the notification button to get notifications on whenever I upload a video next. And also, follow me on all the social medias. Links are going to be down in the description and down below and also right here. And yeah, guys, I shall see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. This is probably one of my favorite customization videos I made for Android because it is so cool. Especially the fact that you could do all this cool customization just on Android is so freaking cool and clutch. But I gotta be honest, definitely after this video, I'm still gonna go back to my iPhone. My iPhone is just sitting off there on the side, crying its heart out because I'm not using it. Even though this Google Pixel is great, I have to go back to my iPhone. I'm so wow. Sorry. <laughs> all right, that's it. That, we're gonna stop now.